So my wife made a couple of things for the car yesterday. So today is a sewing day and this is my crazy instructions that I have created for myself. I'm sure they make perfect sense. So I'm just going to cut this out and then take it to the sewing machine. Sewing for today is done. So now I'm going to give this crazy thing to David to try on the car. So if you want to know what they're for, you need to watch to the end of the video. Today's plan then, I'd like to finish off the panelling in here. I want to do a section along the top there, and obviously this side. It's going to be a wee bit tricky, because I want it to curve round there, tuck under that window, and also extend round to here, just to finish that section off on both sides. Still contemplating putting a just a board along the bottom, just so that it's nice and flat. I've just got a bit of old trunk carpet in here for now as you can see if I make a panel that's maybe that height then it will it will take away all this uneven surface here and it will go over the wiring at the back so I think just a simple board to go all the way along there I'll add a support there maybe maybe just one in the middle or one at either side of the wiring another support there and then once that's done could finally get some carpet down. Ow, just bang my head again. So that's the plan. I'll uh, get my workbench out over there and get cutting some more board. Okay, here's what we're working with. Cardboard to make templates. My half inch MDF. Remember this has got to do the top panels and the floor panel. Measuring tape, a couple of Sharpies, one for here, one for the car, because, you know, you always forget where you left your Sharpie. Scissors, knife, jigsaw. I've got these sun flaps. I wonder if Elsa can do anything with them. Let's ask. Can you do anything with these? I can try. Okay, thanks, Han. Awesome. Right, let's begin measuring, cutting and uh, installing.
okay those top side panels are in so now that's all all that's left now is that baseboard i was talking about so i'll show you how they fit i'm quite happy actually how they turned out not bad at all and i managed to get them underneath the the side glass so this whole area is going to be covered in carpet, carpet, carpet. I'm not sure how far up I'm going to take the carpet. The more I take the carpet up, the easier the headliner is going to be to, to join. Because this whole corner here for a headliner is a nightmare. Because it curves in that way and it curves around that way. <sighs> Joy. But anyway, so now I'm just going to make a little board about... Mm, let's go basically at the, the base of that all the way out and that means that I've, I don't have to worry about the unevenness of the floor and also the board will go over the wiring and I'll make it removable so that if I ever have to get access I can just take out a couple of screws and slip it out. Okay, let's uh, take some more measurements and obviously I'll need to make some sort of legs for this to, to rest on but no one's going to see them, so they don't have to look great as long as the, the board is flat. Well, flattish. Back to the bench. <laughs> you like to see? Of course you would. So I just need to throw some carpet all over that to hide all the little gaps. Not too bad though. I've left quite a large gap at the bottom but if the car carpet comes along here and goes up there that's okay. I wanted access for those wires anyway. Not too bad. It will do. Now we can get on with more exciting stuff like carpets. So I'll probably get started on the carpets tomorrow. Meanwhile, did anyone guess what uh, this was for? Or this little guy? Okay, I'll put you out your misery and show you. Right, let's start with the wee tiny one. If you guess correctly, that it was for my light switch then well done that was pretty tricky so remember i said when i installed this it seemed quite long but i kind of liked it far out but you had this big bar sticking away it looked a bit goofy so my wife elza came up with this idea to make a gator so the gator goes on there knob goes over there 
and we have a little light switch gator. Isn't that nice? <laughs> I need to put a clip at the base so that it doesn't pull it out, but it's uh, that's pretty cool. I like that. Okay, now on to the main event. This weird contraption is actually a steering shaft gator, a steering column gator. Now, it's a wee bit tricky to put on. There's all sorts of Velcro pads and sticky things I need to take off. So I will not bore you with that or subject you to my swearing. But once it's on, I'll bring you back and you can see how it looks. It's pretty complicated, so so I'll see you in a minute. That wasn't too bad. Let me show you how it looks. Not too shabby. Now there's a couple of wrinkles, but that's probably because I've not attached the Velcro properly. But that just tidies it up a bit more and it matches the seats, matches the gator and the most important gator of all. She's done some fancy stitching over the top. So yeah, I just need to adjust some of this Velcro to get rid of the twists, but uh, jolly nice. And let's face it, it's not something that we would have thought of. Only a, only a very clever wife would have thought that out and uh, decided it was required. Thank you very much, my lovely wife. So that concludes the interior portion almost still got the doors to do but that's okay they they swing away out and i can i can do them whenever so the next big step get some carpet in this thing what a difference that's going to make both to the sound and the look and also huge thank you to my wife for her ongoing efforts to make bugsy look pretty i'm trying my best to make them look ugly but uh, you know she likes them to look pretty Right, folks, take care. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you've not already, and I'll see you in the next one. Carpets. Bye.